The interlude starts with four bars of the lowest note of a G5 power chord. This is played at the third fret of the sixth string in an eighth note rhythm. Play the B flat at the eleventh fret of the second string and the G at the twelfth fret of the third string. Then bar the seventh fret of the second and third strings, followed by the ninth fret, then the fifth fret, then the seventh fret. These two bars are repeated and sound like this. Play the B flat at the 11th fret of the 2nd string and the G at the 12th fret of the 3rd string. Then bar the 7th fret of the 2nd and 3rd strings followed by the 9th fret, the 5th fret and then the D at the 7th fret of the 3rd string and the F at the 6th fret of the 2nd string. Leaving your finger on the D note, fret the G note at the 8th fret of the 2nd string and play both notes together. These three bars sound like this. The final phrase of the section starts with the 2nd and 3rd strings barred at the 5th fret, followed by the D at the 7th fret of the 3rd string and the F at the 6th fret of the 2nd string. Leaving your finger on the D note, fret the G note at the 8th fret of the 2nd string and then move this shape up 2 frets. These 6 bars together sound like this. These first two bars should be played with a constant eighth note strumming pattern. 